Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I look like I haven't slept, even though uh, I would say I was up in and out of the night. I, I'm pretty much sleep two hours, wake up, sleep two hours, wake up, sleep two hours, wake up. It's just how my night is. I toss and turn and try to get in the most comfortable position. But anyways, I'm going to try to vlog my day. Right now, I'm about to eat breakfast. I just have some Greek yogurt with banana sliced into it for sweetness, and then some strawberries on the side. And then I'm gonna eat um, a calorie pack of almond slash walnuts. Oh my God, so crazy right now. I'm trying to venture out of the junk food eating. If you guys haven't watched my previous videos, and, uh, then I'll keep you give you a little update. But basically, with my pregnancy, I've had the roughest time eating healthy foods. So anytime like I would eat <clears throat> like specifically vegetables and like certain fruits, I would throw it right up. It just depends what I was eating. But if it was healthy, usually I would throw it up. If it was junk food, baby LJ loves it. But I don't. <laughs> I mean, I it's not that I don't like junk food. I don't like to eat it all the time. It's just, it makes me feel so unhealthy. So um, I've kind of been battling with my weight with this pregnancy. It's a, it's kind of a mess back there because uh, I'm trying to clean out my whole apartment and just get rid of a bunch of stuff. But anyways, so yeah. So now that I actually haven't gotten sick and when I mean sick, I mean sick in over a week. And I've been testing out certain things. So I noticed like if I have a salad, I have to have bread with the salad, unfortunately, because I'll throw out the salad. So it kind of sucks and defeats the purpose, but that's what I'm eating. Uh, that's what's kind of helping me right now. But I just want to try my best to start eating, inputting foods into my diet right now that's healthy and see now that I'm not getting as sick if I can get away with eating it. <laughs> so I'm eating Greek yogurt with bananas and a couple of strawberries just sliced up. And then I'm gonna have some of the walnuts slash almonds, emerald calorie packs, it's a 100 calorie pack. That's what I'm gonna have. And I don't know what I'm gonna eat for lunch yet, but I'm gonna just try to have like a healthy day and then try to get my way back into eating healthier foods. Um, that's what I really need to do. I've gained, to me is a lot of weight and it's because obviously i'm not eating as health oh, excuse me i'm not eating as healthy and two i don't work out as intensely as i used to so i walk a lot like i walk a lot so i'm active in that area but i don't work out like i used to at all i haven't gone to the gym in like when was the last time i went to the gym last time i probably got went to the gym was probably in january february because it just, I feel a lot of pressure in my stomach when I do work out. Some stuff that the intense workouts that I was doing is not healthy for me to do it while I'm pregnant. And um, even when I walk fast now, when I walk fast, I get really intense pains in my stomach. So my doctor actually directed me to walk slower. And I'm like, hello, I live in New York. How am I supposed to walk slow? I don't even know how to walk slow anymore, to be honest with you guys. But I have to walk slower. But I do like, I walk upstairs a lot. I look at my job, there's staircases. So I walk up the stairs a lot. I walk to work, like I take the train and instead of taking like two trains, I'm supposed to, I can take two trains to get to work. I take one and then I walk about 15 to 20 minutes to work in the morning and when I get off of work. And I'm walking throughout the whole day in the office. So my walking is good, that's good. Um, I'm gonna try to do some like squats and certain type of strength trainings that I could do this week and see what my body could do because I'm not, like I said, I'm not getting as sick anymore. I mean, whatever I can do, I'm just gonna try to ease in my way into it because this pregnancy has been a little bit tough with me getting sick and getting headaches and getting pains. <laughs> so that's just been my little issue with this little one here, but she's all worth it. So anyways, I'm just going to eat right now. I did want to come on here and say, I tried to upload a, a previous video, but I was getting copyright issues with it. Totally understandable. Um, and I was just basically talking about Drake's new song, how it completely like 
just made my life yesterday and i'm just so obsessed with it i'm so obsessed with it like it's gonna be my anthem you guys i love that song i was dancing to it all day yesterday me and baby lj were having a little dance party yesterday we were just gigging out and it was really awesome but um i wanted to tell you guys i love you guys and thank you so much for the love and support from the last video that i posted i did not expect that much feedback and it's kind of cool to see it's sad and it's cool it's sad because single parenting is so common and that to me is sad just because like you know not having a union with a family or like having both parents involved then it's also comforting to know that people have been through the situation and have like surpassed that situation and have risen above it you know what i mean you guys but it's just good to know <laughs> i'm not alone and then people that are not even in this situation are just giving their unconditional love and support it was just you guys had so much sincere feedback and great feedback and thank you guys so much i cried that night when i read the comments because i was so overwhelmed with just love and it was amazing so i want to tell you guys i thank you so much i i said it on snapchat um and i think i said it on ig but i'm saying it here because if you guys don't follow me on social media that i'm telling you now if you did write me a comment um i appreciate you love you so much okay we got to eat over here, all right? So we're going to eat, watch some YouTube videos. Then I have to take a shower, get my eyelashes done, come back home. Um, I'm going to try to clean up. I need to work a little bit. I have a lot to do today. I got to go pick up my laundry. I got a lot to do today. So let's go ahead and just get this day started. See you in the next clip. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Um, it's about 11-ish and freshly showered i put my hair up in a bun because i'm going to style it later so i don't want to put any product in it or anything like that you can see all my little baby hairs i've been growing out of control since i've gotten pregnant actually something that i noticed which i'm loving now when i shave my legs i swear i look so bright i'm not feeling that um okay, let me go into the other room I noticed that, oh my, you guys, literally my bags are out of control today. I cannot. I noticed that since my pregnancy, I've grown a lot of baby hairs up here. And I wish I could style it, but I it just, it, I feel like it looks weird on me. So I just slick it back. And then one thing that I'm loving is that usually before I was a hairy beast, so before when i used to shave my legs i'm not even joking the next day my legs would feel so prickly it would grow back so much like i would have to probably shave every day or every couple days because that's how bad my hair leg grew and then on top of that my hair leg was so thick and since i've gotten pregnant it takes like a week for my hair legs to grow which i am loving can't even front. I hope it stays like that forever. <laughs> um, I have barely any like arm hairs. I used to shave my arms as well. Well, I didn't shave them often, but I shaved them like here and there. But yeah, there's like not really much there going on. And the only noticeable place that I've noticed that I've had hair that I never noticed before is on my belly, which is really random. But yeah, I have like, it's just like visible. To me it is. So ooh, excuse. other than that, I'm enjoying the perks of slow hair growth besides these little ones over here and over here it's all good that's another thing my hair usually grows super fast like you guys my hair grows so fast and my hair process like with my hair growth just my hair hair has not been fast so that's another thing that I've noticed uh, my skin's been pretty good even though obviously I haven't been eating the healthiest minus this huge pimple right here. But obviously I don't look glowing or anything like that. I just look like a dead person right now. <laughs> so I'm actually going to get ready because I need to get a taxi to go get my eyelashes redone. I don't know. I don't honestly, I don't think I'm going to vlog in the place. But I will show you guys the result after. I'm just going to get them touched up. Um, this side always falls out faster than this side and i think it's just because i sleep on my left way more than my right and i think after that i think 
I want to go to Target, depending how I feel. All right, I'm going to shut up and stop talking. I need to go and get this taxi and go to my eyelash appointment. And I do plan on vlogging more of the day. So I don't want to see, I don't want to have you guys just see me talk in every single clip, which might happen. Just a warning. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, let me take my hair out. I need to dry my hair. What else? My hair's looking a little Lion King status right now, but you know, it's all jeezy. Anyways, of course, I didn't vlog anything because I'm a little puss. <laughs> but I got my eyelashes done. They look great. I love them. And then I decided to go to Target after because I wanted to get some new stuff. I'm like in this really cleaning, detoxing, getting all of like the old stuff anything that I don't need and just getting new stuff that I do need for uh, my place. So I went to Target. I'm so proud of myself. I spent less than $100. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you guys what I buy. I didn't buy anything like, oh my god, this is so amazing. It's just more of necessity stuff. So I have like four bags. So I'll show you what I got in this bag. And I'm telling you guys, it's I'm just showing you guys what I got at Target. I didn't get anything crazy. I got some Drano. <laughs> my bathtub right now, it's taking a while for the water to go down. So I'm sure it's because of this massive hair that I have. I got a new loofah. And then what else did we get? Picked up my favorite tried and true L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm currently using Lancome, but, or Lancome, Lancome. How do you guys pronounce it? But this is like my holy grail forever never lets me down l'oreal telescopic i got some towels for the bathroom um i was trying to look for like lavender lilac towels and i was so disappointed because an, one of the main reasons why i went to target is i wanted to buy new bath rugs and i wanted to get like the bath rug sets and they have them on amazon as well but the only thing it's like you don't know how it's gonna look like when it comes in person so i was like i'd rather just go in store and f find something that i want of course I found the color, but they didn't have the rug set. They only sold them individually, which that's fine too, but then they didn't have the um they didn't have like the toilet seat cover and then they didn't have the uh like the bath rug ring that goes around the toilet. They only had like the basic bath rug and then the towels. So I was kind of disappointed. So I ended up going with just like a cream color because my curtains are gold and cream for my bath. And so I ended up just doing that. So this is a color, very basic. I know it's very basic, but it's okay. And I'm just going to blend these two colors together. This is also like a vanilla creamish, like a vanilla bean color. And a lot of their towels they actually had on sale. I got the big bath one, and this is from the brand Threshold. And then I got this one in a different color and so we just got, we're just going to blend these pretty much like this. I know it looks so basic, but there's going to be accents of gold. There's accents of gold all over my bathroom, so it's fine. And I can always change it out, so it's not a big deal. I got a new shower liner because I needed a new one. And I, who's calling me? <sighs> Declined. I got a new shower liner because I needed one. And I'm actually happy I got this at Target too because I got it for 10 bucks and it's $20 on Amazon. I mean, I'm sure I can find cheaper ones on Amazon too, but the thing is like, you don't know the quality of what it's gonna be. Same brand, Threshold. Something that I'm excited about that I got on Amazon that I thought I was gonna have to go to Bed Bath & Beyond is the shower liners that have the pockets in them. Um, they're like, they're 20 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond and I haven't seen them anywhere else. Like I don't see them at Target, but I did find them on Amazon and I actually found one that I actually preferred better than the Bed Bath & Beyond. And I think I got it for like 13 bucks. So that should be coming in a couple of days. So I'm just tossing everything out that's in my bathroom basically right now, except for like accent pieces that I have in there and like the toothbrush holder and stuff like that. Then this one's so cute. 
so I got a piggy bank for baby LJ. It's a star. So her theme in her room is going to be moon, stars, clouds, all that stuff. And I was looking for a moon piggy bank, but you guys, you think it would be really easy to find moon stuff and it's not that easy. And the reason why is because the theme that I want to the nursery to be is like lilac lavender. And then, um, gray and hints of mint and like white so just basically the main theme is like lilac uh and yellow i don't know what i'm gonna do it's just lilac is the main color and i have to figure out what the accents colors are going to be but i ended up getting a star piggy bank because i was like you know what i've been wanting to get her a piggy bank i can't find one that i like and they're super expensive this was for 12.99 at target the piggy banks that i have seen all are over $40 and I don't even like them. So I was looking for a moon piggy bank, but couldn't find one. So I settled for a star and I'm like, it's totally fine because uh, I'll find moon accent stuff anyways. So it will fit within the theme. So I got her a piggy bank so I can start, you know, putting some money in there for her. Oh yeah. I got <laughs> for the front door, it just says home. Very basic, cute, got it at Target. I think this was also $12.99 and the brand is Room Essentials. Happy I didn't get it on Amazon again because it was way more on Amazon and Target just had it for way cheaper. I don't have a doormat right now, which is kind of weird because everyone has a doormat. So I was like, okay, seriously girl, just buy one. And then here we just have the bath rugs. Oh my God, I got all this like material from the doormat and then the toilet thing. That's pretty much it. My basic shopping at Target. Ah! <laughs> and yeah, and then I have a coat hanger that's a coat rack that's coming in um, because I always leave like my jackets laying around. AKA right here. Jacket just thrown on the couch or the futon. So yeah, so that's pretty much all I got from Target. And then from Amazon, I got a coat rack that I really, really needed. And then I got the the pocket shower thing where I can just stick stuff in there. That's pretty much it. Now I have to go pick up my laundry. I, yes, I get my laundry washed now because one, it's really heavy. I didn't even realize, like I have to walk about 10 to 15 minutes to go to the laundromat and I'm carrying like 20 pounds, 20 to 30 pounds on my back. I didn't realize it was carrying that much weight. So I just drop it off get away from the radiation, I can get stuff done, and then I pick it up the next day, and it's actually pretty cheap. It's not that expensive at all, so I gotta go pick up my laundry, and then I need to cook dinner. I had lunch, I ended up just getting a sandwich from Starbucks, it was like the roasted tomato and cheese sandwich, um, because I was running around, and I had to eat, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a busy day. It's a basic, basic busy day. Okay, I need to go. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.